everybody, and welcome to NASCAR.com Garage Cam, presented by Mobile One. Oh, and it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and this is the neighborhood of the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series Garage. And a beautiful day as we look at the five-hour energy Clint Boyer machine right here on NASCAR.com Garage Cam. I'm your host, Matthew Dillner, bringing you along for the ride a little all-access tour. It's almost like you have a pit pass in the garage. We'll go walking, we'll go roving. This is live, raw, uncut. You never know who we're gonna talk to, what we're gonna see, what's gonna happen here on NASCAR.com Garage Cam. Unpredictability at its best, and all presented by Mobile One here from Phoenix International Raceway. You see these cars in these garages and in these little stalls right here. Look to the right, that's the chat room. Hop in that chat room, tell us who you are. We like to know where you're from too, and we want to know what you want to see here on Garage Cam. First in the chat, 18 KB Show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Got a lot of cars to show you here on NASCAR.com Garage Cam, including Joey Logano's number 22 machine right there, the Penske Ford. And as he turns down the engines there, we get a better sound now. It's a little more quiet in the garage area as we look at Michael McDowell's K-Love number 95. Of course, a lot of disappointment for this Phoenix native last week in Daytona. Missing the show for the Great American Race. Michael McDowell, a heartbreaker for Michael McDowell. And of course, K-Love on board. But look at that, the 50th anniversary of Phoenix International Raceway. Pretty cool to see. 50 years here. Of course, not 50 years for NASCAR. First time we were here was uh, 1988, Alan Kowicki winning the Polish victory lap. You gotta love it. But 50 years, what a great history here between all the different type race cars that have raced here. USAC, Silver Crown, IndyCar, Super Modifieds, all of NASCAR's touring series that have run here and the na uh, Nationwide Series and Cup. Phoenix, a very cool place. Actually, he's talking to Eric Morse, Sprint Vision. They got video of the 1964 USAC Silver Crown Winner A.J. Foyt taking the checkered flag here. A.J. Foyt will be here this weekend. A.J. Foyt will be here this weekend. That's pretty cool. As we move on to Ryan Truex's Borla, number 83 car, check out the decals on this puppy. Hey, look out for those flames right there. They're right near your leg, okay? <laughs> As he's doing the tap dance. <laughs> Some awesome decals here on the number 83, of course. Dave Blaney, of course, this team had a tough speed weeks. A crash in practice, and they did not have a car to roll out for a backup. Dave Blaney, the 77 team, returning here to the West Coast for a little redemption. Here's a guy returning to the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. That is Blake Cook. Blake Cook attempting to make his second career NASCAR Sprint Cup Series start. He'll be doing it behind the wheel of this number 35 car for Front Row Motorsports. The MDS number 35. And hey, there's a weird layout here in the garage area, and we have to talk about this. The garage area is over there. This is garage cam. But not enough stalls for every car. But because of the way they're lined up of points, some big names are back here without a garage, and one of them right there is Martin Truex Jr. The number 78. Let's check out this team working underneath a pop-up tent here, kind of old school. The number 78 Denver mattress machine. And there is another high profile team working out of here, and that is Clint Boyer's team. They're in tech right now, but in the back of the garage here for these two teams. Of course, the number 78 having a rough speed weeks, okay? They were fast, they had a lot of speed outside of the front row, they qualified and it went up in flames in the duels in the closing laps there when they were involved in a major altercation come to the checkered flag. They had one of the fastest pieces. They rolled out a backup car and, of course, a last place finish for this team at Daytona. Here is Martin Truex Jr. What's up, man? Uh, this week, we, we got, it's kind of like old school, man. We got the tent, said. tent here. It kind of reminds you of, uh, you know, growing up in races. That's what happens when you finish 43rd at Daytona, you know, and they switch the points deal around. So it's, it's all fine and well today, but when it rains all day tomorrow, these guys are going to be miserable. I told Todd if, if we'd have just finished 41st at <laughs> Daytona, we'd have a garage. We missed it by two spots. But well, I'll tell you, tell, tell you what, you've, you've had some impressive runs here at Phoenix. So. This is not a bad deal, you know, the re looking for redemption after a bad finish, coming to a track that you're pretty
pretty darn good at. Yeah, we've uh, we've had some really good runs here over the years, and uh, honestly, this is where the real race season starts in my book. So we're we're excited to be here. I'm uh, I'm kind of like chomping at the bit to get in this thing and see what it's going to do. So it's been a, a week full of anticipation. I really wish we could have went straight from Daytona on Sunday and came here and raced on Monday just because of the way that it's went. that energy, you know? Yeah, just, uh, you know, wanting to get Daytona behind us. So, yep. look, ready to get in the car. All right, Martin Truex, thanks for thanks. joining us today on Garage Cam. And there's a the number 78 rolled out into the sunshine. Black sunshine is what we could call this car, that flat black look. Pretty darn good looking car right there. Oh, it is sunny out here. What's up, Bobby? How you doing, buddy? As we stroll, let's take a stroll through the garage and hey, Here's Josh Wise. Hey, it's Josh Wise on Garage Cam. Josh, what you got for us? Did you bring me food? Got a little fuel here. It looks a little too healthy for my taste, salmon, but. salmon, salad, green beans. And that's how Josh Wise prepares for practice. <laughs> hey, here's another car rolling in that we have to show you. The number 87 car this week, Morgan Shepard. Morgan Shepard. Says Joe Nemechek on the uh, front of that car, but it is Morgan Shepard. Nemechek will be in a number 66 ride, so don't get confused. You see the name right there, Nemechek. This is a Joe Nemechek car, but it will be piloted by Morgan Shepard, who is standing actually right over there. There's Morgan working on the car. Always hands-on is Morgan Shepard. Lots of activity in the garage. A lot of cars still going through technical inspection here. It's sort of loud here in the NASCAR garage. We'll show you Kyle Larson's car. Kyle Larson having all sorts of trouble during speed weeks as far as the Daytona 500 is concerned. But I'll tell you what, what a strong rookie class. One of the strongest rookie classes, in fact, that we might ever have had in the NASCAR uh, Cup Series. It should be an impressive, impressive rookie stat. Uh, stat. Matt Stricker telling us he's going to walk around. I think we eyed somebody. Gotta love having a good producer out here uh, working for you as we look at the Tommy Baldwin owned Michael Annette number seven machine. And hey, James Woodcock, you wanted to see, I believe it was you that was on Twitter that wanted to see this number 38 machine. D. Gilly, David Gilliland. And there is the number 38. firing up the engine so we can not hear ourselves here. But you know what? That's Garage Cam, baby. It's loud and it's proud here. Only on NASCAR.com. Presented by, hey, right here, Mobile One on board the number 14 Stuart Haas car, the Bass Pro Shops Tracker Boats number 14 Chevrolet. Tony Stewart attempting his second race in his comeback from injuries last year. And hey, look, it's Kim Coon. And I don't think we have the other microphone. So, so you're going to have to talk really loud. Talk really loud. How are you doing here, Kim? Are you having a great day? I'm having a great day. The weather is beautiful. <laughs> so what, what are you doing today? I was out at the Sprint Experience. I'll go back later. I'm going to be interviewing Brendan Gaughan and then social networking. So in other words, when you interview Brendan Gaughan, you just have to say a word or two and he just takes over. Yeah, he really does. He's a good interview. I enjoy him. <laughs> hey, it's Matthew Stricker. All right, we'll see you, Kim Coon. My Everybody follow guy. Kim Coon on NASCAR.com. Uh, of course, the All Access with the Miss Sprint Cup girls is a great segment on our uh, website. Glenda Salermo. Hi, everybody. Please, please, please get to smoke is what you wanted to see. You know what? I think I, think I saw Kevin Bono Mannion over here. Let's see if we could grab Kevin Bono Mannion. It's, it's a little loud, isn't it? We're going to grab Kevin Bono Mannion here for our Mobile One Auto Tech question of the week. Kevin Bono Mannion, if you can hear us here, since it's a loud garage area, we, we want to know on Garage Cam here, you know, there's different oils that you guys use. And we talked about it last week on our Auto Tech tech question presented by Mobile One about how you use a different oil for practice than you do for the race or a big practice session for qualifying, it's different. What about this new qualifying, since it's gonna be shorter? Well, it is gonna be, it's gonna be shorter in one aspect, but in another aspect, it may be longer. You know, you got 25 minutes. I think it's gonna be track dependent. Hey, Bob, I think it's gonna be track dependent. 
here at Phoenix short track, one mile track. Um, your, your tires, uh, this is a little bit newer tire, the repave a couple years back. So scuff tires are not a bad thing. So you might make more than one qualifying run, whereas like a, an old wore out place like Atlanta, it's one lap. So you may, you may run a bypass system, or bypass your oil cooler, and run a thinner oil because it's only one and done, one lap and you're done. Where here we might be doing multiple laps, we might keep the heavier, thicker race oil in to keep the temperatures down a little bit. Plus, you don't know if you're going to get a clean lap out there. That's another thing. You know, this this is new to everyone. And, and uh, just like the motor guys at home trying to work on oils, we're trying to figure out what's the best system here. All right, that's the Mobile One Auto Tech question of the week. And this is Kevin Bono Mannion. Thanks a lot, bud. Kevin Bono Mannion, crew chief of this number seven Michael Annette car. Hope you guys enjoy the Mobile One Auto Tech question of the week. I kind of think it's a cool thing for Garage Cam. Here's the number 34 car right here, Farm Rich. David Reagan doing an appearance earlier today for Farm Rich. Saw that on Twitter. David Reagan always very active in his Twitter account. Here's the number 27 car. And the number five of Casey Kane, the farmer's insurance machine. Brian Vickers, the Aaron's dream machine right next to it. Let's see, Leah Bartlett. Oh, you wanted to see Casey Kane. Well, there is Casey Kane. Love seeing you on the chat here in the interactive garage, as we like to call it. Hey, pretty cool paint scheme for, hey, look at that little dance around there. Paul Menard, pretty cool new paint scheme with a kind of a blue splash on the side. We love showing you all the new paint schemes, of course. We show them each week on NASCAR.com. And then you get to see them here on NASCAR.com Garage Cam. Let's see. And Sloan White, Jennifer Sloan White. I'd like to see Parker Kligerman. Well, there is Kligg's number 30 car here in the garage area. What a week for Parker Kligerman last week. Making the Daytona 500, he was on his lid. Wow, Swan Racing really had their hands full last week. It was an eventful start of the season for both of their drivers. Both of their drivers are parked right next to each other here in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series garage, right next to Parker Kligerman's number 30 car that doesn't have any decals on it. Is the number 26 car of Cole Witt right here. And there is Justin Allgaier's car. AJ Amendinger, the number 47 machine right here. Here's Gator's car. See the rookie stripe on it. Brian Scott, the white tail machine, making another cup start in this number 33. Justin Allgaier over there talking with his crew. What heartbreak there for Justin Allgaier at the end of the Daytona 500, not, not finishing there. AJ Amendinger, the number 47 machine. Try to rattle through here because through here, we, we still have a lot of ground to cover here as we pass Josh Wise, who is eating his salmon salad. And there is Michael Annette walking to his number seven. We just talked to Kevin Bono Mannion. Are we halfway? Close to it. Two minutes, says, <laughs> says the producer, Matt Stricker. And there is Kurt Busch here on Garage Cam. The number 23 of Alex Bowman. There's Bowman's Dr. Pepper car. The Quicken's Loans, Quicken Loans, number 31 of Ryan Newman. Ann McGregor in our interactive chat. 99, Carl Edwards, please, from Eastern Ontario. Diehard fans. Ann McGregor, you want to see that 99 car? Well, I think it's on the other side. So we'll have to show you that number 99 car. Oh, Canada. That's what you wanted me to do, isn't it? Strickard said he wanted me to sing the Canadian National Anthem. I'm not from Canada, but I'm a proud American. But I'll tell you what, Canada has a beautiful National Anthem. There is Travis Quapple's car. Man, we just saw Quapple walk on by. Halfway, halfway in garage camp. And we're seeing Travis Quapple's number 32 machine. And there's Brian Vickers. Mm -hmm. 
Vickers walking with Clint Boyer here. Clint Boyer walking over to his garage. He'll, he'll have a uh, suntan garage stall today. You're going to be out in the sun today, buddy. Yeah. Uh, kind of old school, though. It's like we're at a dirt track or something. You don't have yeah. the garages. Yeah, but I tell you, I was looking. It's so cool to see these cars slam down like that. I mean, that's what they look like in the center of the corner. And now, with a new rule pack and everything, they're you know, like that leaving a pit, so. Kind of like, looks like late models all slammed down well, to the ground. I tell you, right now, it's, everybody's just trying to figure out where these things want to ride. You can see, I mean, if you want to show the followers some neat stuff, you can see how everybody's a little bit different on their heights and stuff like that going around their garage, so be interesting. All right, Clint Boyer, thanks for joining us here on Garage Cam. Clint, last week, turned our show upside down, literally turned our cameras upside down the uh, morning after his flip at Daytona. Always personable, Clint Boyer. All right, let's see if we could motor on to the other side. Man, we got a lot of ground to cover here still on Garage Cam. Get your walking shoes ready, boys. CJ Latirzo, our audio guy. <laughs> our our uh, producer, Matt Strickert, here with the, the Sprint tablet, where we keep track of the uh, chat room right now. That's kind of how this show operates. It's unproduced. Yeah, we have a producer, but it's virtually unproduced. <laughs> Dale Earnhardt Jr., last week's big winner at the Daytona 500. What a story that was. James from Ohio, excuse me, James from cold Ohio, wants to see the number 88 of Dale Earnhardt Jr. Of course, Dale Earnhardt Jr. winning the Daytona 500. He's won here twice, folks. Can he win again? Only two guys have won the first and second races to start the season. Who were they? Matt Kenseth, 2009. I think that was California, was the second race of the season. And Jeff Gordon in 1997, his championship season. And guess who provided that stat? I can't say I'm smart, it's this guy. <laughs> Stricker, you gotta pay me for that. <laughs> Enjoying yourselves out here in the sunshine, catching a tan, catching a tan. It's Steve Green, look at Steve Green. Man, he used to shoot for TNN. He's still in the deal. We love Steve Green. Love us some Steve Green. Denny Hamlin's car, the number 11 machine right here. Trying to bring the energy for you folks today. Let's motor on through this garage here. Hey, I'll tell you what, these drivers aren't out yet. We're gonna, we're gonna hop on down here. Hey, it's Amy Walsh. We're gonna hop on down here to this side. Maybe catch a few guys for you. And hopefully not be out of breath. Here is the Casey Mears team. Crew Chief Booty Barker and Casey Mears talking over some things here before the qualifying session. Joey Logano. Let me get in there and maybe talk to Joey Logano. Here's Joey Logano at the back of the car getting photographed here. By Rusty, you getting his good side again? All his sides are good. All his sides are good. Are you saying? Are you just saying that because he's here? Joey the Gangster Logano. Joey the Gangster Logano. What do you think about that nickname? I know he's full of it. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm good. We're gonna make some laps. Get to go on the racetrack. A little handling comes into play today. Yeah, these I'm cars excited. are pretty slammed down even here in the garage. It's oh, pretty yeah. cool, isn't it? No riders. Right and dirty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joey Logano and this 22 bunch riding dirty, as he says, here in the Sprint Cup Series garage. And I'll it is pretty uh, narrow and tight there in the NASCAR garage. And hey, look, we are on the main side of the garage in the number 40 car by virtue of his finish last week. Landon Castle is on this side in the 40 car. That's pretty cool to see. Here's a car that has won here four times at Phoenix. Actually, not a car that's won here four times, a driver that's won here four times. Kevin Harvick, Tigra, you want to see your main man, the Freaky Fast number four Chevrolet, four-time winner here at Phoenix. Who's the only other four-time winner at Phoenix? Jimmy Johnson. Hey, check it out. It's Ricky Stenhouse rocking some NAS here in the garage area. But back to Harvick. This car, a brand new car that they'll roll out here. Kevin Harvick in this number four car, brand new chassis. Here's the number one car of Jamie Mack having a very colorful hand gesture conversation with Kevin Harvick here in the NASCAR garage.
Harvick and Jamie McMurray. Come on, let's go this way, boys. Past Matt Yoakum and the boys here, and there's the subway machine. Winning here in the spring of last year, the number 99, Carl Edwards. Carl Edwards going to be backing up. Hey, let's show you. Let's show you this Skittles ride right here. All right, folks, you're watching on the computer. Pop in some Skittles, watching Garage Cam, and there's your colorful number 18 ride. i got to say something. It's been a while since we've had a Skittles car. I remember the old Kenny Schrader Skittles ride, and that thing was beautiful. Taste the rainbow or whatever. I don't know what their uh, slogan is, but that was a very rainbowish car, and we've got that Skittles ride back. It's pretty cool to see. KB Show, you want to see that Skittles car, and here it is for you on NASCAR.com Garage Camp. Here is Marcus Ambrose in the Mac Tools number nine. Got the earplugs in, ready to go. We got some other cars across the way. We'll show you here in a second. And, and guess who's uh, showing up here? Hey, hey, hey. It's Carl Garage Everett's Cam. Garage Cam. Bam. See that? Hey, look at you Those with the, the Wiley X's. Is that the unshaven look with the Wiley oh, X yeah, and stuff? No, I should have shaved. No, no, it's kind of scruff. It's kind of rough. It's we camped, tough. We camped out in the desert last night. Did so, you? Uh, yeah, it was pretty fun. Had a good time. And and what did you uh, do? Did you go, do do in a tent or? Yeah, yeah, in a tent or. Uh, it's pretty exciting. Heard some coyotes and stuff back there. Didn't see any rattlesnakes. That's good. No rattlesnakes, no scorpions. But I'll tell you what, this track can take a bite out of you. But last yes. year, here in the spring, one heck of a day. Yeah, it's good. Hopefully we can do it again. We've got the same subway colors on board. Uh, we've got subs in the in the uh, hauler if you guys need them. Okay. So it's. Uh, I like food. No, flatizas maybe. I'm a flatiza. Sure. What's a flatiza? It's a flat pizza. And oh. It's, uh, I guess most pizzas are flat. Well, but yeah, Subway unless you're from Chicago. Yeah, and uh, yeah, <laughs> they're more like a Big Mac, right? So, <laughs> so yeah. Um, anyway, we're selling subs, platizas, and um, and they're free for folks on the uh, on the uh, garage cam today. So you you excited? Are them. you excited for these low riders today, man? Yeah, these things are kind of slammed like down. Broke, Look at that. Yeah, I got to make sure I fit in it. I don't think I've sat in this car yet. So. Well, uh, if you had Subway, it won't lower the ride heights anymore. That's right. You stay fit, <laughs> trim, and. Um, yeah, that's good. Good commercial. The coyotes in the desert don't, don't come after you if you smell like Subway. So it's yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, there you go. Carl Edwards in the Subway ride right here. Nothing more to say because that was absolutely brilliant. Dwayne McDonald says, what about Danica? Well, guess what? Dwayne, this show is for you, the fan. You know what that means? We're going to show you Danica pa Patrick's machine. It's over here. It's another one in the great tent village here of Phoenix. Let's show you inside this GoDaddy rocket as Danica Patrick puts on her Hans device. The head sock is already on. Ponytail tucked into the back of the suit. And Danica Patrick getting ready for practice here at Phoenix. A big home coming weekend, of course, for Danica Patrick every time we come here to Phoenix International Raceway. And, folks, there is a number 66 last week, of course. The 66 car was piloted by Michael Waltrip. This year, that 66 car and the, the number will be split between them and Joe Nemechek, this number 66 machine. Eric Amarola strapping in in the farmland passion for pork machine. We'll give you a look here at your Richard Petty Motorsports driver, Eric Amarola. Kind of quiet on this side of the garage. Let's get you back to the noise, folks. Some clouds out today, but don't worry. Beautiful day for practice today. We could see some weather tomorrow. It's looking pretty likely. Speaking of good runs last week, we have to give a shout out to this Tommy Baldwin Racing number 36 bunch. They're on the main side of the garage this week. Why? Because Reed Sorensen drove his butt off last week in this number uh, 36 car and had a whale of the run at the Daytona 500. Let's bring you down here. Come on, let's get those walking shoes on. It's Garage Cam, Bentley Saloon. Oh, Bentley Warren shirt. How about that? Super modified legend. And here is Austin Dillon. Climbing into his American ethanol machine. Dylan strapping into the car, climbing in right now. This chassis right here, the number three car last year, won here at Phoenix, driven by Kevin Harvick. This is the same car, 
Okay, we want to show you something. We were talking about the ride heights. Okay, new rules starting this week. You see this number 13 car kind of slam down into the ground? I gotta show you something. You wanna see something cool? Look next door. Already, not even with a load on the car going into the corner, already this three car is slammed down to the ground. Oh man, the sparks will be flying. It should be a very interesting practice session, qualifying session. These cars, it kind of reminds me of going to see a super late model show. These cars are slammed down to the ground. Greg Biffle's number 16 here. As we're only a few minutes away from practice, the number 17 NOS Energy, Denise Sancho. Where is the 48, please? We're going to get over there. It's Ricky Stenhouse Jr.'s NOS machine. Spotter Mike Hart Herman was feeling a little ill yesterday, but he's back on top of the spotter's stand. Shout out to my buddy, Ole Hearn, Matt Kenseth here with a different paint scheme, a black and orange machine. The Husky car right next to his tool buddy. It's Jimmy Johnson. There is Jimmy Johnson right there, four time winner here at Phoenix International with an average finish of I believe 6.9 for Jimmy Johnson. Wow, that is pretty spectacular. The number 48, one of the cars to beat anytime we come here to Phoenix. Oh, cars are rolling out onto the track. The Pepsi Max car of Jeff Gordon. Followed by Jimmy Johnson. Oh, if you haven't seen Jeff Gordon's Pepsi Max commercial part two, you need to check it out. Stenhouse. The fifth. The American Ethanol, number three, Oscar Dillon. Fred Keselowski, Casey Mears, Landon Castle still strapping in his car, Kevin Harvick, four-time winner here at Phoenix, Jamie Mack. Oh, folks, this is the beginning of race week here at Phoenix International. Marcus Ambrose. And the Skittles ride. Oh, that makes you want some candy right there. Eric Amarola pulling out here. Kurt Busch, the outlaw. Ryan Newman in that pretty slick looking number 31. Alex Bowman. And you see right here, the number of 43 isn't that low to the ground compared to the others. It is interesting to see how these cars, the attitudes of these cars are. As we get a good look at the cars rolling out here for the practice session. Some chunks of lead falling out of a car. Huh. That's interesting. The number 14 of Tony Stewart. Gilliland and Michael McDowell. Remember, folks, tune in to the Spring Cup Series race live Sunday on Fox, 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And remember, make sure you tune in for qualifying. This will be the first time that Cup qualifies with this new format, and it's only here at Phoenix International Raceway. I'm your host, Matthew Dillner. This is Garage Cam. Thanks for joining us, presented by Mobile One. And I'll tell you what, what a fun show today. And until next time, See you at the races.